Welcome back to the Dice Dragons Guild. In this hall, we unite under one banner. Live by the die. Die, die by the die. die. Oh, it's so oh, quiet. Put more energy it's, into oh, it, people. Come on. Oh, there's a nat one. Oh, oh, oh it's going to be one of those. Ooh, oh, damn. That's fucking ugly. That good, huh, guys? I'm not going to say another one. Actually, <laughs> to be good. fair, so, we are two people now. So it's a lot quieter. <laughs> Technically, only one person who's a player. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Is he still here in spirit? Um, what did everyone get? 16. Strong one. Ooh. Or a 15. whopping one, right? <laughs> Fucking a strong one. whopping one. Uh, so one. as you might have noticed, Izzy is not here this week. Um, so I am filling in. Uh, please bear with me. I do not do this very often. And uh, hopefully everything will uh, go off without a hitch. We already had our one technical, uh, <laughs> one technical glitch for this session. So let's hope that that's it. Just a small kerfuffle. It's okay. All right. Hopefully, Izzy can add in all the stuff in post because I forgot to ask for a listing of all of the announcements. So, <laughs> my bad. Like, try to wing him off the top of our head, but yeah, oh, just, just search or, search for us on Google. Not Dice Google. Dragon Guild. Yes, Dice Dragon Guild at yep. YouTube. We got merch. Uh, tiny URL slash DDG. Um, I, I'm forgetting See? so much. Yeah, we, got, um, we got stuff. We have like we, we got it's, merch. We, we got, got these people here. You're wearing old old merch. You're you're already on, on Twitch with us. So uh, we're TikTok, Instagram, all all the stuff. Go to, go find the link tree. If you're already here, you can find it. <laughs> Announcement's over. <laughs> Let's get into it. Thank you, everyone, for coming to our story tonight. Deep in the woods, inside of Devenia, there have been some strange attacks. Some cattle, some horses, some other various livestock have all been missing. All that's been left are bloody remains, a few carcasses, not much else. We find ourselves in the western region of Devenia tonight, near the section that they call Leif. You three are traveling adventurers or mercenaries. go around looking for different contracts to fulfill and has brought you here. A strange benefactor has offered a reward for anyone who can find and stop this beast. All you need to do is bring back proof. No one knows quite what it is. But what you do know is the attacks all seem to be surrounded from the same swampy marsh lands. And from what you've gathered, these lands belong to an old woman that the locals call Old Nan. Not much is known about her. She mainly keeps to herself But what you do know is it is not safe to go onto her lands without her permission. So as we begin tonight's story, you are a little ways up the road, heading towards Old Nan's, looking for permission to enter onto her grounds.
So, how about we introduce our characters to everyone? Uh, I started on this side. Let's start on this side. I am Cuba, and I am playing Paseiro. It's Brazilian for bird. <laughs> and he is, I can never say it, one of the bird folk. Aracocra. Uh, Aracocra. Yeah, see, I can't, he just said it and I still can't say it. Anyways, uh, he is uh, a ranger. He is um, close to seven feet tall. He is okay. essentially a bright blue. It's a big bird. Uh, he is essentially a big blue uh, macaw. Nice. So he's, he's like all blue except for like a little yellow around the eyes and a little yellow like around the beak. Very nice. I, I rolled on that one, which was what I was going to play. <laughs> um, my name's Adam, and I am pay, playing Belgare Bendros. Uh, he is a human um, eldritch knight slash wizard. Uh, he is a tall, older, distinguished looking gentleman. Uh, probably just under six feet, and white hair, white goatee. Looks slightly upper crust, but not, you know. Not too fancy? Not too fancy, but he comes from, you know, he looks like he does come from some kind of money. I am Julie. I play Luna Solarius. Um, I am a sorcerer. Uh, she is about 5'4", silver hair with one, her left eye is blue and her right is green. And she is very quiet. A little different than we're used to from someone else who <laughs> I usually play, but very quiet and has a very firm sense of justice. Excellent. So as we approach, uh, as you are approaching old Nan's uh, home, what are your characters thinking? Please talk amongst yourselves. The night is pretty standard for Divinia. It's a little chilly, but not cold. You said it was night? It's night, of course. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like, always, it's always it's like Batman the Animated Series. It's always like that dark red sky. <laughs> it's about maybe uh, an hour or two hours from uh, dusk. So the night is fresh pretty cloudy but that is pretty normal uh normally around midnight the skies will part a little bit so you'll be able to see the moon um inside uh Devenia, it's normally a little misty once the sun goes down though it never really shines you can hear all the sounds of the forest different Bugs, animals. How long have we been traveling companions for? I would say the three of you, uh, being the level that you're on, um, I'd say probably That's about a good sign. <laughs> four years. You guys oh. have oh, known okay. each other. Um, you're not part of a guild or any sort of formal establishment you are freelancers so you work together and you know strength and numbers but well, we know each other pretty well we've been traveling you, yes you you are not almost new. half a decade you you all have become familiar with each other over the years and we've been in devenia for some time now a little while not all of the four years i would say you've probably been in devenia for less than a year Oh, I'm thinking charisma's to my dump stats, so I'm probably not going to ask old Nan for permission. <laughs> I think charisma was my dump stat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God it's not mine. All right. <laughs> that's that's my that's my good one. So. Yeah. So uh, what do you think it is? I have no idea. Oh, come on, take a guess. Pack Don't say wolf. I have no idea what it is. Pack of wolves, perhaps. Do we know what the condition of the corpses was? They were ripped apart. There wasn't... Uh, the condition of the corpses were more there were pieces that were left. 
but not so much uh, one cohesive body. You found pieces of flesh, hair, and bone, but no full. Uh, you assume uh, in the uh, whatever attacked these animals uh, took most of the remains with it. Well, maybe this old nan. Maybe she has more information. And what do we know about this old nan? I mean, is she uh, is she the friendly folk? Did they did they say that uh, when they handed out the paper? I don't think they specified. Oh. Judging by the way the villagers had spoken about her and saying that we'd need explicit permission to travel her lands, that's not wise to traverse her lands without her permission. I don't think she's too friendly. Yeah, well, um, I will just duck behind you then. <laughs> Says the giant, four, <laughs> uh, seven foot tall blue bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my mini. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any <clears throat> Aracoca mini, so that's the only thing with wings that wasn't some sort of monster. <laughs> close as I could get. Oh, thank you. Close as I could. You begin to um, approach a small shack, maybe a hundred yards, just off of the trail that you all have been traveling. It's very indistinct. No real strangeness about it. it looks just like an old shack, just outside of some marshlands. There is a uh, light. You can see through, um, you wouldn't think it's tinted, so it's probably a very dirty window. Uh, one that is either smoke uh, stained from inside cooking fire or just years of grime. But you can see a glow as you approach, probably about 75 yards. It's when you begin to notice it's gotten quieter. You no longer hear the bugs chirping, the rustling in the grass and brush is pretty much only from the wind. You don't hear much at all as you approach. It's eerily quiet. I am feeling a little nervous near this uh, old man's nest. Agreed. Belgir is going to, like, with his cape, do that, like, dramatic, like, flourish. Billow, billow it out. Yeah. And just start walking towards the door. Um, when we're, like, 50 feet out, if nothing happens. Nothing happens. Make a perception check. Plus plus four. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, as you look around, the night is quiet. There's nothing that you can see in all around. Let me um, ask you a quick question. You are a human, correct? Uh, yes, very human. And Eric Hokra and another human. How are you walking in what order and are you walking just hands down by your side does anyone have a torch or a light a lantern i can't remember what you said how the moon moon comes out at midnight moon usually comes out about midnight in oh, the, right. the latest hours and then by dawn so it is very dark where we it, are it is dark the oh, forests are very thick Probably. Since nobody has night vision, uh, dark vision, I'm guessing we would probably need a torch or just try to travel by yeah, like. If, if it was that dark, I would assume that we'd probably have torches because we like wouldn't know. The, the, the moonlight as yeah. a, the clouds pass. In, <laughs> I was going to say, in my head, like, I don't know why. I just. Oh, in one ear, out the other with the moon thing, but. Mm -hmm. 
we'd probably at least one of us would have a torch. So uh, even if with two of you with torches, uh, you you would see the the road is empty and all around there there seems to be nothing. You don't even see bugs attracted to your torches right now. Okay. And when I stride up towards the shack, nothing. Nothing mm. happens. Nothing happens. Well, shall we knock? You shall. Uh, I'm going to cast as a cantrip mage hand. We'll get within the range is 30 feet, so I'll stop then and meet it. Who is that? It's his friends. It's travelers. I don't have any friends. We were just looking to um, speak with you for a moment, if that's okay. My name is Luna. How many of you are there? There's only three of us, ma'am. The door is open. Sure, this is not scary at all. This feels like a trap, but Luna would walk in. Yeah, he's just gonna, Belgar's just striding in. So as you approach uh, the shack, once you enter in, um, it is an old shack. This person has been living here for years. Borderline hoarding. There are piles of different things on every surface, every shelf, every chair, table. There are just things everywhere. Very dirty. Um, it's kind of musky smell immediately when you enter, like uh, the floorboards are a bit squishy and the walls seem like if you were to touch them, they would feel wet. Um, everything just has an old, really old feel. Um, as you open the door and walk in, the immediate room, uh, it's all one room, but in the immediate center there is a large table uh, not unlike the one that we're sitting at now uh, the old nan old woman is sitting there she appears to be in 60s maybe 70s stark white hair no gray left eyebrows same thing completely white has her hair very long uh, swirled above her head almost in like an old beehive style but it's just so long it's wrapped and then there's uh, some sort of a pin or a, a wooden placement in order to keep the hair up eyes uh, at one time were probably blue um, they have a, a little bit of a, a clouding over almost like a, a cataract sort of thing um, as you approach she looks at you all ah what brings you here at this time of night uh, you may or may not have known uh, heard of the recent attacks by a beast um, we believe the last reports have it spotted on, on your land and we were uh, Ask, came in coming to ask you for permission to um, track down this feature and uh, eliminate it. I have not heard of any beasts. Oh. Well, there's been lots of reports of it. I'm sorry you haven't heard of it. It is quite dangerous. I don't let people on my lands like to be left alone as soon as we find the beast or proof of the beast or whatever we will be gone when we apologize for any inconvenience and we understand that you like your solitude I'm sorry we're sorry to intrude and we appreciate you listening to us so this is what you do. Yes, ma'am. You're hunters? Mm, not hunters. Mercenaries. 
I mean, there are many names for what we do. Perhaps that is a good description. Hmm. We solve problems for people. You're not from here, are you? No, ma'am. I'm not. Hmm. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful here, though. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. You want on my lands. She sits back in her chair. Fingers on the armrest. What is in it for me? have seen no beast. Is there something you would like? Doesn't look like any of you would have money except for this one here. But if you're here, that means you don't have any money. I could part with some beautiful feathers, if that is to your liking. I have feathers, and she points over, you see a bunch of different crow and various feathers of all different avians. <laughs> <laughs> so you have no money, and you want something from me. I could offer you this, and she'll take out one of her, it's a, about, an, about a half inch wide ruby earring, and she'll go, I'll exchange this for access to your land. I don't have money, but I do Let have jewels. See. It's it really close in her eye. I can think of something else. What do you have in mind, ma'am? Is there something you need done? I rarely ever get company. How about a game? What kind of game? Well, if you win... You can go to my lands, but if you lose, you're adventurers, you have powerful items. Each of you put something on the table and we will play a game is it soccer <laughs> if you win you take your items and go through my lands if you lose i will still give you permission to go through my lands but you leave your item If that is the cost. Very well. So, what do you have? Uh, he takes off these goggles that he's wearing on his head. Eyes of the eagle. Wondrous item. I will uh, wager this, I suppose. Hmm. And you, rich man? Undo his sword belt and pull out a uh, beautiful, gilded with a uh, silver hilted rapier. And I'll lay it on the table. And you, child? And she'll pull out her wand of fireballs and put it down and go. 
This was given to me by my aunt. Mm-hmm. You are quite powerful indeed. Here's the game. I will play with each of you one at a time. Two cards. Whoever has the highest combined wins. Understand? It seems straightforward enough. Very well. And almost like it was already in her sleeve, she produces a deck of cards. That's why you bought those yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and new for this. I was like, why'd you buy cards? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she begins to shuffle, never stop looking for you. Where are you from? You. I did not think this through. <laughs> uh, Remember anywhere in the world where he's from? <laughs> I am from a very. I didn't think uh, that deeply into yeah, no. <laughs> it's on the fly, maybe. Yep. Uh, a far off land of lush vegetation and trees and sunshine. Mm. It's uh, quite far from here. Yes, yes, it is. And you? Far from here, across the ocean. Ooh. A, a, uh, Which direction? West. Um, the shit was it the Empire, Cassian Empire, right? Cassian and Callian Empire. A small household in the uh, Empire of Cassia. Mm, we don't get many of them around here. You must have done something to make you leave. Mm. Many years ago. Mm, I don't care. <laughs> You child, you I have don't a sadness in your eyes. I don't know where I'm from. Hmm. But I grew up everywhere. Except for here. Except for here, you're right. So then, who's going to go first? I'll go first. All face cards are worth ten, except for the ace. That is worth eleven. And when you're ready, show us your cards. Fourteen. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe there will be a second round. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I'm. We can put on whether or not I give you permission if you want to go double or nothing. Any volunteers? I will. Hmm. This is unsettling. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had any guests. Do you play this game with all of your visitors? Just the ones that have nice goodies. Feathers first. Fourteen again. Amazing. Ten. 
You can keep your eyes on this night. Ah, thank you, most gracious. Mm. <laughs> that just leaves you. It does. So you came from some wealthy house to now Devenia. You carry a sword with you. Hmm. I wonder what you did. Don't tell me. It's much better if I don't know. It's a creepy old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. If Intrusive you said that thoughts. Out loud. Sorry. <laughs> Luna didn't say that. I said that. <laughs> don't hold that against Luna. She didn't say it. I did. Guests first. Uh, we'll use the mage hand to, to flip them on the table. Ooh. Maybe that was 14 again? 16. I know, but imagine. 16. Oh. 20. We losing our shit. Thank you. Yes, my lands are very, very dangerous. There are sinkholes. There are swamp gas that ignites on its own. <laughs> mm, but most importantly, they are my lands. And you can't just walk on them without permission. So when you get to the tree line, where the marsh starts to get thick, ask for permission to enter the forest. And remember your manners when you do. We ask the forest? Yes. <laughs> okay. Word of advice in the venue. Never enter someone's home without asking for guest right. Not everyone is as civil as I am. We should consider ourselves very lucky. Yes, you should. I was in a mood tonight. <laughs> Well then, I guess you have a job to do, don't you? We will be on our way, thank you. It was a very uh, interesting evening. Uh, come, my friends, let's go, let's go, let's go. And ask the forest trees for permission. <laughs> Good luck. Just pushing us out the door. <laughs> She hasn't risen from her seat the whole time you've been there, but the door closes behind you without anyone touching it. Well, another reason why I hate this country. <laughs> oh, what creepy old lady. <sighs> Have you uh, any other weapons than that one sword? Okay, good. <laughs> I shall be fine. Huh? Uh, watch out for stink holes, uh, sink holes, and <laughs> stink holes, <laughs> and uh, fire things, and let's go find the trees of permission, I suppose. Alright. So, after you exit out of the front of Old Man's shack, you begin to walk behind. There's no fence or anything to signify where her lands begin and end. Um, before what you gather, maybe about 50 yards behind this little shack, I wouldn't dare say that it's a, quite a cabin as it, it's quite rickety. Um, you can see almost where the lands definitely have a, a difference. Uh, the tall grass is much shorter you assume from the excess of the marshy land, there's not 
as much just general brush. There seems to be a, a little bit of a, a breathing room in between the trees. And the one thing that you definitely notice as you get closer, uh, further away from Old Nan's home, small sounds, animals, some bugs, normal, maybe some dripping from the trees, owl in the distance here and there. There's definitely life in this forest. What order do you approach the wood line in? I'll go first. Was all the trees and whatnot that was by old Nan's house like leafless and dead also? Pretty decrepit. There was lots of brush that you noticed, but no actual leaves. It was quite dark, but you had a feeling there was no greenery. And we around. didn't hear wind or anything, nothing. It was very quiet once you got around her house, especially within the immediate 30 feet from where you cast your mage hand. So, oh, are we walking like side by side? Yeah, you guys yellow brick road style like arm in arm yeah. flying yeah. Yeah. Style. I mean if there's enough room sure yes it, it is pretty wide open you are off the trail you're, you're now on old Nan's land it's definitely not upkept at all there's no horses or plows or anything like that it's just seems like a swampy marsh sort of area Sure, walking side by side, I suppose. Okay, you're yeah, about 20 feet from the tree line. Ground is getting a little bit squishier. You start to feel your boots stick a little bit with each step closer and closer. You're now 10 feet away. There's a bit of that musky smell that you smell inside of old Nan's shack. Your torches almost seem dimmer the closer you get into the wood line. You are now standing just in front of it. Um, were you going to say something? I don't want to... No, I, I suppose Step, this is the place. Yeah. Stepping forward, uh, Belgir will like, almost like bow. See. Uh, we ask permission to enter these woods. My permissions of old Nan. And we ask for guest rights. I bow. Stick my plumage up. And as he's like bent down, he's going to like look yeah. over at Luna and be and like... Luna's going to like curtsy. Luna's like, <laughs> she said ask for permission and guest rights. And Luna's going to like curtsy. And do you continue in? There's no change at all. No, you hear the wind sort of whistle an owl or two maybe after about a minute. No change. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if this took, and she'll take a step in, to tr or try to at least. You step in. Yeah. Nothing happens. You were granted permission, and then you asked. Now your journey begins. That was just a preamble. Very much. Okay. So as you begin walking through this marshy kind of smelly, for lack of a better word. You can't really say that it smells like old Nan's anymore because uh, it's decaying things now. It's no longer a musk. There's rotten trees around you. You know there must be dead animals nearby as you have been in the adventuring life for a little while. You can smell death. You know that smell. It's unmistakable. When we were given this job, well, when we took the job, um, were we told anything else? Like, did they find tracks around the bodies? Was there any other no. information that we were given? No, there was no information. You're not even sure the name of the person 
who is offering this contract. It's just a mysterious benefactor who has posted on different bulletin boards through the different towns that surround this area. Okay. Nandol is the name on the paper. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Can I, I guess, do a nature check to look for a trail, a tracks, a sign of something that looks like it doesn't belong? Sure. Do um, either nature or survival, whichever one you're better at. Survival is one better. Uh, 24. 24. With a 24, um, you're not unfamiliar with this sort of terrain. Um, Your immediate attention is brought up above the, the trees themselves, the canopy. You notice that the bottom 30 feet, there aren't many interconnecting branches, but as soon as you get like about 30 feet up, it almost seems as though all the trees grow into one. So there's one giant canopy. And in doing that, you realize anything that would be coming this way, there has to be a break or a clearing with such thickness like this. So you are continuing to move in the same direction as though you're following the way in which the trees grow. Um, It's not very sunny in Devenia ever. So what you are beginning to believe is that the trees are almost all interconnected so that even if only some of them get sunlight, it's almost like they're all getting sunlight because at a certain point they grow from the ground and then grow into one another almost like a symbiotic or parasitic sort of forest canopy with the low levels of natural light that they get so in your thinking you have to continue keep going where the trees all the branches which way they're all starting to grow together and form. There, there must be something that way. All right. This way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just as we're going, I would take extra care to make sure that there's no, nothing we're falling into, no like sinkholes or whatever. Sure. Give me a um. Uh, either perception or investigation. I'll let you decide. I think my perception is better. Yeah. <laughs> Seven plus four, uh, eleven. Uh, with an eleven, um, you are about to step into what you think is a puddle, and then you realize it's not quite like quicksand. But in marshy areas, it's a very soft clay, which you know that it won't kill you, but most people, when they step into this uh, sort of like, I don't want to call it a mud hole, but usually your foot gets like suction cupped in it. And lose a boot. <laughs> yeah, you can either lose a boot or you end up tumbling forward as you lose your balance. Um, so like you're about to step down and you notice it and you just step off to the side and you, you warn your friends, Hey, be careful of these areas. Don't, uh, don't trust the puddles. Okay. So you continue on. You, you all have been pretty safe, moving, secured. Let me get a perception check from everyone after you've been walking for, Feels like an hour, maybe two at the most. It's kind of hard to tell. You can't see which, where the moon is in the sky, so you're not sure how much time has passed. My Seven, goggles 17. give me advantage. Nice. Well, I ten, so. would say you all have your torches out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know at least two out of the three. Okay, outside of ten feet, 
in, I will call this dim light and not darkness, outside of 10 feet, you have disadvantage so, due to the dim light. So did you want us to roll with disadvantage right now? What if you are looking out beyond 10 feet of your immediate vision. I don't know what it is. Well, you just had us roll perception checks on it. If, if you want to look further than just your general area around you, roll at disadvantage. Um, yeah. I will look at the close area and close let someone area. else look at the outside. Are you looking? No. Just looking in mm-hmm. the immediate area? Yeah, these aren't dark. Do not want to know. It's one of those, like, like, nope. They, they would just uh, negate the advantage yeah. and give you a straight roll. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So uh, fifteen. 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 And you were seventeen? Nice. Seventeen. Um, Luna. You notice just out of the corner of your eye, everything is wet, but even with the torch, you can see this is this wetness to your left side is red. You see fresh blood. Blood. And she's going to point. Cool. Because <laughs> she's just like. Because he's just like where blood. Now everyone wants you to do a distance perception check. With the disadvantage. Everyone has disadvantage except for you with your goggles. It's just a straight roll. Yeah, that was a great. <laughs> uh, Thirteen. Disadvantage perception. You said. Yes, so whichever was the lower. 14. I rolled an 18 and a 19. So with disadvantage, it's still a 22. 14. (laughs) You notice uh, maybe about 40 40 feet from you. You can see what is clearly a sheep. Now, normally a sheep who has run off their wool coat will just grow wildly and become excessively big and fluffy. Doesn't really look too fluffy because as you notice, one whole side of it is just all red and matted down. You you see a corpse, a completely almost demolished sheep and maybe about five feet next to it. About. (laughs) You see a humanoid figure on their knees. Their back is to you. They're 40 feet away and they're, they're looking down. From the best that you can surmise that they're looking at their hands. What do you do? First, I would tell my companions of the sheep and point out the person. And um, call out, you, you there. Soon, as soon as you speak up, their, their head like immediately snaps upright and almost in the blink of your eye, they, they stand up and face towards you. And as I said, it, it's fairly dark, but with your uh, 22, uh, with perception, you can see that this person is in a sort of a longer style riding jacket, um, not quite like a... Um, full length to the calf or to the ankle, but probably about like mid thigh, um, long coat, but they are covered in blood just beneath their nose. I mean, it it almost looks like they jumped into a pool up to their nose, just blood. They have no hair and they're skin is like bleached bone it is the palest skin you have ever seen because you can see them 
even though you're having a hard time making out that they are humanoid. And all, all you hear them say is, I didn't know it would be like this. I didn't know. No. And before you know it, they are running directly at you. I need everyone to roll initiative. All right, so here we go. Up first, we have Belgir. Uh, he will pull his regular rapier, since old Nan has his special one, in in his right hand, and also his um, wand of web in his other. And I'll hold an action for when this humanoid of sorts gets close enough. I will um, fire off a charge of it. Excellent. I just have to look up really quick. Range on web. It actually might be within range now. Is it 60 feet? I think I described 40, but uh, now now that we're using the miniatures... Yeah, it is 60 feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I might be just out of that. Because that would be 12 inches. Mm. Yeah, he is there sure. a little too far away. Yep. Just when he's within range. Okay. So holding an action, no movement. Nope, he's going to stay right where he is. All right, next up, we have Asaro. All right. Um, so it's a white humanoid figure. We don't, can't make out what. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, while you were gone, they had said something along the lines of, I didn't know it would be like this. I didn't know. No. They said that? Yes. Uh, no. And then a guttural. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Fly up about ten feet, mm-hmm. and then move. Like, towards like the middle, like hovering here. You're gonna stay at ten ten feet off the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And I'm going to ready a, an action. My longbow. I'm not gonna shoot. Until like it gets closer and I can see what it is and the threat that it is. Okay. Um, so I'm, I, I will have an arrow no, locked uh, and ready. Notched and ready. Yep. And oh. then uh, as a bonus action, I'm just gonna put Hunter's Mark on it just in case. Excellent, Hunter's Mark. Here, you can borrow mine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> It is marked. All right, so coming up, this comes to the unknown pale humanoid. How far away was it altogether? Um, it was it probably eight? about uh, at the uh, full scale. So one, two, it's 18 inches. Uh, 20 would be a, a hundred feet, so just shy of a hundred feet. We're looking at like probably like 80 feet away. Gotcha. So they are going to move forward. And you are the closest one to it. So it is going to run directly at you. Now I'm flying above it. Yes, yes, you are. You are uh, 10 feet. Round. Um, Can I have that a 20 foot um, cube? 20 foot cube. 20 foot cube. Cube. Thank you. Because once it gets close close enough within that 40 yes. foot, 60 foot range, this fires off. So this is a 15 foot cone. Shit. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> right out the gate. I need you to please make a constitution save. Does my held action fire off before that happens? Um, if I am within the distance, uh, you needed uh, 60 feet, correct? Yes. So... Ooh, I think I am just within it, yes. So your held action goes off. Right, so it hits. Ugh. What is the uh, spell? Uh, the spell, uh, let's see, it's web, basically, uh, each turn that starts its turn, and the web enters or during its turn. You must make a deck saving throw. On a failed save, it's restrained for as long as it remains in the web or can break free. It's against my... Sp- what is your spell, spell save? Uh, well, with the this wand, I believe it's fif- it's automatically 15. It's 15 with the my, wand. Bypasses my spell save. It's a natural 14 for a total of 21. Ah, damn. Okay. Well, so it makes it through the sticky, sticky web. It was worth a shot. Mm. Oh, keep that over here just in case I want to Just in case you need it. Uh, Cuba, so I need a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, 21. Nice. 21, that is a success. And that means you take half damage. As a reaction, I'm going to use Absorb Elements at first level. Um, this will be necrotic damage. It's not an so element. It, oh, it, you cannot it. use it. It is not one of the elements. Damn. <laughs> Three, nine, uh, 14 halved, so you take seven points of necrotic damage. Uh, my, I can... Shoot for my held action? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, take that shot uh, first, actually. <laughs> we were all trying to be nice with this, yeah. this thing first. Like, hey, man. Well, you don't want to shoot You're anything not... in the dark and not knowing what it is. <laughs> oh, that's a miss. Uh, well, I'll just, I guess, so. Uh, you never know. And You're right. Uh, don't forget, everyone still has the, uh, we're using the inspiration thing. If oh, we're going to use those? Neat. Okay. Yes. Cool. I didn't give you hero points this time. I'm trying to. Keep it on the level. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so that's a 15. Uh, 15. Uh, as you let loose on it, um, it actually looks as though you you hit it in the shoulder, but it, it just grazes just by it. doesn't uh, land true. For the what? This what'd, is... you, what'd you roll? Oh, 15. Oh, nice. uh, so... Only because I have a damn. plus 11 to the attack. I God rolled damn. Four. No, damn. Damn. All right, and it is now Luna's turn. You're going to hear a little, ah! Because <laughs> she's a little freaked out by this. And mm-hmm. Am I 120 I feet away? one yeah. right there. Perfect. Yeah, you, you're definitely within 120 right. Oh, definitely. Feet. So she's just going to like kind of freak out and go, ah! And cast Firebolt. Firebolt? Firebolt, yes. <laughs> All right, give me an attack roll, please. Right. Hold on. That is six plus. You fired that <laughs> way back here. And I was... Fourteen. That was uh, so Fourteen. Your firebolt as it comes by streaks right by. It illuminates its face, and as you see, it, it's not just a humanoid. It, it almost looks human, but it has these weird mangled front teeth and long claws and milk white. Uh, it, you you thought it could have been its skull showing, but it, it definitely has skin. But from the nose down here and the rest down the front is all stained red. Ugh. We are at the top of the round. Belgia, you are up. <sighs> Belgia will take couple steps this way. I've got, what, 30 feet of movement. So I'll move this way. Yeah. Towards this tree. <clears throat> he's going to mutter a couple words. Um, something they probably wouldn't recognize. But he's going to cast Bless on all of us. So cast 
Unless, mm -hmm. as you do that, just double check something real fast. Come on, internet, move. Now, with a concentration oh. spell, you can use cantrips. You, you can just... use any other spell, um, except if you use another concentration another spell, concentration you spell. drop it. That's right. And uh, you just need to make a concentration check when you... Uh, take damage, right? Take damage. So, yeah. So, with uh, Bless, you know, you guys get the 1d4. Uh, what's the range on Bless when you cast it? Is it 30 feet? Oh, it is. Yes. I can move fo yeah, up I forward. Say, yeah. Wanna... yeah, I forget I, with I the range because I don't do <laughs> I don't do casting so, a whole lot. So. We don't know these guys. Here now, everyone is. Yeah. I don't do cat like spells a whole lot, <laughs> so the range and all that stuff. That's when you were like, oh yeah, material components. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> don't worry. You I barely know what that even means. <laughs> you only have, I, I think, one spell that utilizes uh, consumes uh, spell components. <laughs> My last character hit shit with swords, and this character of the main campaign just hits stuff with arrows. <laughs> now so. I have to ask you this. You gave up your sword. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Well, I... Mm. I didn't... What are you putting down? What are you... I, I'm not saying oh, you the have wand, to drop he put, it. The wand is... He had put the wand away. I should have said that as a free okay. action. The okay. wand is away at this point. All right. So. That, that's a free action... Yep, I, f I forgot that he was holding the other the wand of webbing, so that's a way. Uh, so you both have bless, so you can add a d4 to attack rolls and saving throws. Uh, next up is uh, sorry, I'm going to butcher the name again. Pasaro or Pasara? Pasaro. Pasaro. Pasaro would mean female, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. I, I did take two years of Spanish. Sorry. I did not. It's okay. It's Portuguese. So. Uh, it's even my worse. friend, my friend, I'm not <laughs> here. You want to fight? I give you arrow in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna, cause that I hurt. Work with, I work with Portuguese and Brazilian people. I I'm gonna fly speak. up ten more the feet. Oh, okay. yeah. so the canopy's thirty yeah. feet here. About you have enough room Jesus to sweet. fly up to yeah, thirty much. feet max. After that, uh, I'm gonna start needing checks for you to avoid hitting limbs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go up ten more feet. Okay, so you're 20 feet in the air. Um, I'm going to use the spell Flame Arrows, so I touch my quiver, and every one that I pull out is not going to be a flaming arrow. Okay, let me just uh, double check. Is that a concentration spell? It is. So you drop Hunter's Mark. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, see, I, never I forgot that. about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. That's a big problem I'm going to have with all right. this. Is forgetting... Let me make first out of playing yeah. Catherine. I actually had to write that out on a post it. Let me give you this you just so that we drop remember. You concentration. Up in you, the it's air. like almost all of her is a concentration. Well, with her not, like, I mean, I got used to doing all that, planning what spells to mm -hmm. use with concentration or not, but now I don't, I don't, I make, I purposely make sure I have very little to no concentration spells because I find them annoying <laughs> as hell for this very reason. <laughs> uh, all right, so either way, my arrows are now on fire. And uh, so I'm going to take. Two shots at this dude. Go for it. Thing. Oh, uh, so six plus three. Seven, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. So, um, Eight, 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 need my eights. So it's a D8 for the normal arrow damage. And then uh, I believe flame arrow is... Yep, I need to get back up. Oh, I am sorry. Um, flame arrow is an action to cast, not a bonus action. Oh. So you would not be able to attack, but your quiver is now ignited. Okay. And that will add an extra D6 of fire damage to your arrows. Should have read all this beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wanted to double check it because I thought it was an action, but I didn't want to slow down the combat. Okay. So, um, any yeah. bonus actions for you? I don't think I have any useful bonus actions. No. <laughs> Hunter's Mark. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's Rangers, <laughs> man. That's yeah. Rangers. Okay, continuing forward. Actually, I'm going to steal this one from you just because it's... I don't want to keep pulling that out on the mic. It's gonna be able to make 
it to you because he has 40 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. So as they get close to you, oh, let me uh, see. All right, awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's go for. Uh, it's gonna make a swipe attack at you. Uh, as it gets close, you can see its hands, elongated fingers and nails, um, come swinging at you, and that is a natural twenty um, to hit. Uh, yeah. Fuck. This this is already going. Uh, Exactly how you planned. Just kidding. <laughs> Better than I, I had. Does a told. twenty hit no matter what? Natural twenty okay. hits always no hits. What? You cannot use your arcane deflection uh, for this. A natural twenty is a natural twenty. Seven. So you take eleven. Uh, yes, uh, twelve points of slashing damage. Okay. Second attack. Uh, that's a natural three. Uh, I don't believe in 11 hits, correct? Uh, no. And now as it has gotten closer to you, you can see that the red is coming from his mouth. You believe that this humanoid was eating the sheep. It's a natural 18... 26 to hit. Yep. As it <laughs> takes a bite into your flesh. All right, He's gonna so. kill us before, Dana. Mm. Yeah, it happens. It's like I always wanted to do a TPK. Total party kill. I think we're going to um, do it this time. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to fly I have... <laughs> See, See, I'm going, as you're talking, I'm going through my spells. Like, mm -hmm. And like I'm trying to find it. Like I have silvery barbs, which I would have tried to use for the TPK. For, for the natural 20. 20. But well, now, since, now you know. Yeah. Well, I'll, can I use it for this one? For this one, absolutely. Yeah. Let me roll it's again. It's just, like I said, like I'm literally going through my shit up and down. I'm like, why can't I find it? Uh, so does a 22. Yes. <laughs> shit. Sorry. Hey, it happens. Um, all right, so this is going to happen in two parts. The first is, uh, we're going to call this is piercing damage. So for another 12, uh, 12 points of piercing. Okay. And you are technically missing hit points now, correct? Yeah, uh, yes, from that last one. Plus an additional 16 points of necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is reduced by 16 points. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want this contract anymore. I'm like, this isn't worth it. <laughs> Uh, that is all. Luna, you are up. I'm not sure how to. Uh, there should be override a override max. Yeah, HP. override max HP. That thing is way far. Is that thing farther than thirty feet? I think it might be right at thirty feet. Because that would mean any about six inches. Yes. Uh, five five time. feet for every one inch. Ah, it's perfect. But this is you. Yes, the yeah, the tall the, one, the tall the little right. one is. So uh, first, gun, I'm gonna move this way to like clear open mm -hmm. the shot. Get a nice clear angle. Absolutely. And I'm going to shoot off witch bolt at level one. Awesome. I know what that's gonna totally do yep. to me. Uh, yep. Let's uh, let's do um, let's do the witch bolt first. So I, I believe okay. you make an attack roll. Yes. And you can add your, oh, actually, uh, Adam, I need you to make two concentration oh, checks right, yep. to see if Bless is still up. All right, now I do these with advantage because of my Warcaster feet. So we'll and see. you get to so add what do your I D4. Have, so what is it that I have to pass? Okay, so the first one. Uh, 12. 12, so it's half the damage or 10. So you have to make a DC of 10. Okay but you get to add your constitution modifier, and because you're blessed, still you can add a d4 to it. So I, I yeah. would roll all three at once. Take the highest dice, add the d4. Well, I have, but I have to make two separate ones. Yes, this is for but the first And I can first decide one. which one I want to use this for, but do I? No, no it's, all, it's on all your Oh yeah, it's all on, it's not just, a, just mm -hmm. one. Uh, uh, that's two 17s and a... Yeah, you, you, you made it with the 17. The, uh... Second one was a 12 was a and 19. 16 total. Uh, 
total. Um, so that is uh, 28. So half of 28 is 14. So you must make a 14. Uh, 13 plus 1. Uh, and you have, I'm assuming with yeah, the fighter have you con, have, I have a con. proficiency. All right, yeah, so you so main, plus maintain your those. concentration on bless, so you yeah. get to add your d4 to the attack roll. Thirteen. Thirteen, unfortunately, does not hit uh, your uh, witch bolt as the streaking of electricity comes through. It just moves too fast out of the way. Could I please have a d20 roll from you? Yep. Seven. Okay, you are fine. Nothing happens. Uh, moving on, back to the top of the round. Adam, you are up. I'm so going to get smoked this next turn. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not really much else that I can, uh, yeah. I mean, I, not for nothing, you guys chose not to have a healer this time around. I don't think there was any... I do have cure wounds. Yeah. But but I don't think there was any coordination. Like, this was all very, like, patchwork last minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like... Like, I took a character that I had made a while ago, so didn't you? Yep. I was still looking up what spells I had. This is all very fucking... Yeah. Uh, well, just for just because I know I can do it. I'll, uh... I will hit with... I will use a cantrip. Uh, green flame blade. I make one melee attack, which is... I'll use this dice. Rapier, which is plus nine. Sorry, guys, this is all very much yeah. new to Take me. Take time. All right, and you're blessed, so you get the, yeah, D4, the D4 with thank it. thank you. 17 plus two, 19 to hit. That hits. Um, so that is 1D8 of slashing and then, or piercing, and then 1D8 of fire and there's nothing else around it so, uh no not nothing else because i don't count and i can choose i believe to make that yes fire you out. you don't have to uh it, it normally jumps if there's another enemy that you choose all right okay so um so how much of the uh piercing damage oh no never mind don't don't mind anything i said <laughs> Just give me the whole the whole damage. Nine, the whole damage altogether. Yeah, altogether. Uh, nine for the for the first, and then I have to double check that that was a one d eight for the fire damage. It was only two for the fire. I damage. believe it's a d eight. Yeah, for it was only two for the fire. Damage. So another two damage. Yeah. So eleven damage, and then um, since I casted that as an action, I get to make a second attack as a bonus action with the absolutely. Warmatic. Or magic. Which will miss. That's only a six. What's your uh, yeah. plus with the... Even with bless? Yeah, that was with that. Uh, uh, six plus eight. I always forget the fucking thing. Uh, but still, yeah, that's only just, like 14 or just, 15. Just uh, not 14. enough. You're, you're first with the fire. It causes them to start to move erratically, so you're having a hard time trying to pin them down. Yeah. With the fire, is there any extra? Like, does it seem like it hurts them? Uh, what, from what you've noticed, uh, both the piercing and the fire are affecting this thing. They are, or they it are is. not. It okay. is. Uh, next up, Asaro. Uh, I'm going to fly over to this tree, like land on one of the branches. Mm -hmm. If there's branches that can hold a large bird man <laughs> I, I would say yes there there, there are uh, not as thickly as as you get higher but there are a few uh, of the other branches that are still growing out at this lower level then I uh, land on one to take my shot so it's nice true aim my fiery arrows oh. 26. That definitely hits. Nice. 1d8 plus 5. Oh, so, 
uh, do you want total or broken yeah, down? Yeah, you can give me the full total. All right, so uh, eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, take another shot. Excellent. So, so just for future to eat, make things easier, yeah, can, it, it doesn't. No damage types the... are really gonna matter. Um, I will let you know. It's uh, twenty-four. Nothing we've done so far. At least. Nothing you've so done so far. Fire doesn't. Okay. Uh, twenty-four for the second one. That definitely hits. Five. Five more points. Of that was damage. the saddest five I've ever heard you like... say. <laughs> It was the most defeated five. I think. Oh wait, hold on. I like him. I forgot to add my stuff, so that five is actually um, ten. Okay. And then I forgot what I said before, but there uh, should so be an extra before, five to add it to that. I think you said eight, eight last time, so uh, that would have been thirteen for the first, okay. and then uh, ten yep. for the other. So okay, that makes more. That makes more sense. Of Twenty-three. <laughs> Again, we've been playing the main yeah. campaign for a year now, over a year, and, like, I barely attack. <laughs> so. But also, it's just the fact that it's something different. It's something new, throws yeah. You, mm-hmm. Throws you. You know what I mean? Even though we know how to play the game. All right, the creature is I suddenly is feel like I don't know how to play the game at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I feel like I have no idea what I I'm doing. I am probably going to go down in this in this round, guys. Oh, I'm probably going down soon. I'm getting fucking yeah. all smoked. You, you both, you two, are within the range um, as it begins oh, okay. to gurgle, and uh, as uh, Passaro had no, been covered in what he thought was bile, but now as you get closer, you realize it is vomiting blood at Ugh. you. Sorry. So I need constitution saving throw from each of you, please. You can use your bless with this. Until I go down from this. Whew. Is that a natural 20? Natural 20 plus 8. Very nice, very nice. The only good thing I rolled all day. It was a combined 17, but I think you rolled a 17 earlier. I don't think it saved you, right? No, he, he rolled lower. The The save is 16. Oh, well, I thought he rolled a 17 and he full. No, no, he, he made his save. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so... Uh, that was a 17 with the bless. With the bless. Yeah, uh, you both make it so you take half. Oh, hold on. I'm so sorry. Hold on. What was? Did you say it was a constitution saving throw? Yes. So then there's actually plus six attached to that. that that's fine. You, you made the save okay. even without oh, it. Oh, yeah. So I would have made it anyways with this. You take half way. damage. Damn it. Five, I thought, like, 11, forgetting to add mm-hmm. shit. Uh, feel like half of movie. 19. You each take nine points of necrotic damage. Nice. And I have Thanks. To, Thanks, you nasty. Nasty bastard. Oh, shit. I just hit that twice. Whoops. There's like a lag, so when I hit damage, it like sat there. So sat I there for a mm-hmm. uh, Next up is Luna. All right. So first have, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... I'm just going to make that because uh, I took damage, so I have to roll a... Yes, oh. you need to beat a 10 because you took 9 damage. Yeah, uh, 13 and a 19 plus the plus. Perfect. And you had advantage, right? Yeah. Uh, not that it matters, you made it. I'm going to cast Mind Sliver at the beast. Okay, uh, I believe that's a saving throw. What kind of saving throw? That is, that's a good question. Hold on, if I can open the fucker. All right, it is... Do that first round. I took 40 Actually. damage. You, that natural 20, man. Oh, right cr- first, I think I did that to you last one, too. The first roll <laughs> yeah, was that, a natural that just, 20. That fucking just I crippled me so hard. Insight? Uh, or intelligence. 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 Okay, intelligence is not its best saving throw. Fuck I will tell yes. you that. It's a natural 7. Six for damage. All right. This is psychic damage, correct? Yes. Five. All right. Five seems to be the number. <laughs> and then as my bonus action, mm-hmm. you have a mouth, correct? Your character has a mouth. <laughs> I know this <laughs> sounds really mouth, fucking... Dude. I know. I was, was going to say, you're wondering, what, you're wondering what this old mouth does? I was like, oh, <laughs> you've got a mouth. You've got a mouth. I do. Um, she's going what to, are you looking to do with it? She's going to move closer to him 
and touch him. And cast um, Dragon's Breath. So you have the ability for... I imbue you with the power to spew magical energy from your mouth, provided it has one. You can choose acid, cold fire. Okay. That's why <laughs> That's I asked. Why I <laughs> like, okay, it makes sense now. The I'll, creature can uh, use as an action to exhale energy nice. to a chosen type in a 15-foot cone. Do you choose a type or do I choose a You type? choose it. All right, so okay. It's like I got a nose. I was like, you got a mouth? Of all the questions. You like got you, a purred in my right, house. Like you're Sorry. used to being asked to weird questions playing D&D, <laughs> yeah. but the one I never thought was, hey, you have a mouth. You got, you got a, a mouth. mouth. You got a mouth. <laughs> you got a mouth, right? I was like, I can't believe I have to ask that question, <laughs> but right. I was like, hey, you never know. Uh, so that was uh, action, bonus action, use to movement. Uh, I'm done. All right, back to the top of the round. Belgia. And it might be going with you because I'm right behind you, so it's all good. <laughs> uh, that and that was an action. That that is rather an action. Okay. Yes. I was like, I can just give you that too, if you like. Hmm? I can just give you that. Oh no, I, I pulled it I up. Like, I'm just, nope, okay. I could have just given you that. Um, My bad. So, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just let that go. Why not? Okay, just because it'll be fine. All fun. right. Uh, I will open my mouth, <laughs> and I will basically spit fire at this thing. Yeah, Excellent. Uh, I Three don't D6 for you. A deck saving throw, but I don't know what. It would be uh, there the person who casts the spell's saving throw. My saving throw for, uh, wait, for Dex? Yep, si- no, her, your, uh, save, your okay. save DC, right? Spell save. Okay. Yeah, see right there up top mm-hmm. of the 16, so you got to make For a 16? Yeah. Of course, okay. I know Dex is probably their highest thing, but... Oh, natural 9 plus 7 for exactly 16, ah, so I believe damn. that's still half damage, though. Yeah, uh... Can I... Can I borrow a D6? You sure can. That's 10, 14 points of fire damage. Uh, So half of that? Yep. All right. And then, see what I have for fucking bonus actions, if any. (laughs) Um... Okay. Um, shit, I can't really. That's a concentration spell. Shit. Something we probably should have asked for or asked about is if we had any healing potions. Oh, yes. Everyone roll a d4. Oh, shit. I meant to do that at the beginning. Sorry. Everyone roll a d4. I got a one. Three. I got a two. One uh, regular healing potion. Ah. You rolled a, a two. two. A two. You can either have uh, two regular or one uh, greater, and I'll you roll the... a three. You can either, you have for sure one regular, and then you can either have uh, two more regular, one greater, or one uh, superior. Do a regular and a greater. Uh, so that means you have two regular 40, and a greater. Two Good regulars choice. And a greater. Good choice. Yeah, um, as a bonus action, I guess I'll take that now. All right. <laughs> I don't have any other bonus action I can take. Just remember, you cannot heal yeah, past yeah. the... D6? Uh, 56, yeah. I'm too odd. D4, this. D4? Actually, I lied. I'm sorry. I have these. I forgot I always have okay. these. I, I was going to say, I think we have the potion thing over there yeah. as well. All right, uh, and that was, uh, you're okay. not moving, correct? I would, but she's right there, so no. That's all right. You can move. Don't feel bad. <laughs> well, all if, right. If we're supposed to be friends, we've been traveling together for four years, I wouldn't move, so. Next up is Pissarro. Oh, good. That was all right. I can do nothing other than keep shooting. Hey, if it's we're still bust. Now right? you know. Yeah, we're bust. Now you know now what it's I, like I, to play Elden. Well, I also <laughs> prepared shit spells, oh. so I'm like, uh, I was like, oh, like this might be cool. This might be cool. Now we're in the situation. It's like, no, the, most of these are useless. <laughs> so I'll just, I'm just the bird in the tree shooting flame arrows. Hey, every hit point counts. All right. Uh, so uh, twenty, uh, thirty. Two. Oh, definitely Damn. hits. Nice. Damn, okay. <laughs> definitely hits. 
All right. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen nice. damage on that one. I'll let loose another one. Do it. Sixteen. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the flame uh, causes its arm to flail back, and as you do, you just go s- just past its shoulder. It is now the creature's turn. Uh, everyone within, everyone except for Psaro, roll, roll me either an intelligence or history check. Just gonna check to see if the food's here real quick. A uh, straight intelligence. Um, like, uh, if you are proficient in history, you can add your uh, history uh, no. bonus to it. Neither. 14, 15, 16 total. 16? For that was an intelligence check. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Eleven. With an eleven, you you say that you see this thing should be more hurt than it seems right now. It, it was just more hurt like a matter of seconds ago. You, you look at it and it seems as though its wounds start are starting to close. Uh, you it. with a 16 pale skin blood wounds that seem to be healing you want to say that this is a vampire, but this isn't a vampire like you've heard about. This the, Normally vampires blend in in urban environments. There's no way this thing could blend in in this urban. This is a 30 days of night vampire. I have an idea for this. I, so, not say nothing. With, <laughs> with that, uh, again, you're, yep, you're right, right there. fucking there. Right there in front of it. Again, ooh, natural 19, uh, for 27 to yeah, hit. that does it. How many barbs? It's up to you. Yeah, no, thank you. I, I do have silvery barbs. I will silvery barbs that if okay. I have. Yeah, you just a need re- a reaction. That's a reaction, yeah. yeah. So uh, I will have to take the lower. That's a natural 9 plus 8, so 17. I think that still hits. Uh, I believe you have a 19. Yeah, but I had to... I thought you put the wand I never, down. I did, but I never said that I picked up my shield. No, no, so. that, 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 it's a free action, so okay. I just assumed I was, sword, yeah, right, sword and shield. I was just kind of rocking with, like, I didn't say it out loud, yes, so I, I wasn't going to be it that It was way. more on the action economy. I wanted to make sure that you were either grabbing uh, one or the yep. other for All spells. I was, th- I was just trying to be, you know. <laughs> uh, second attack is a uh, 19 uh, to yep, hit. That, yep, that does hit. So this will be uh, slashing damage. It's uh, 2 plus 5, 7 points of slashing damage. Get up there. And then the final bite attack. I don't think that's going to work. It's a natural 5. So uh, after you get hit by the uh, second claw uh, swings at you, and you immediately know what's coming next. So you do everything. You push that shield up right into its face. God, no. Uh, Luna, you are up. All right. Um, I was hoping I don't have to do this right away, but it looks like we're going to do it. We'll move to here. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to say this. Rolfim's Psychic Lance. I'm going to cast that. All right, I believe uh, that's a saving throw. Intelligence. Intelligence saving throw. Very yeah, that's smart. That's say 16. Very smart. That is a, a natural 15 for a total of 13, so that is a failure. Okay, so that means I get to roll damage, and I don't have enough d6s. One, two, is there a three. secondary effect? Tell me how much damage, and I'll look up. Uh, Seven d6. 7d6? Yes. And God damn. Incapacitated until the start of the next turn. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and it isn't incapacitated. Nice. I love it. This All is, right. This could is, I borrow awesome. 
I need four more G6. No, here's two. Thank you. Hopefully we'll nail it. We'll, yeah. we'll have a fighting See, chance that's my now. favorite thing is like when somebody having to like grab dice from everybody. I haven't bought any new dice in a while. I feel like I should, just because. <laughs> nice. Six and four. So that's a lot of sixes. Yeah. That's nice. 18 for the three sixes, and then we have... Two, 27 plus five. is 32 nice. points of damage. This thing is this? looking haggard. Um, these two. Thank you very much for your dice donation. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is looking haggard. Ooh, that was worth it. At the okay. top of the round. Ooh. Belgare. Stab it in the dick. <laughs> it took me just, a minute. Just, I know, it, it just really took me like a it. Just the like, continuation of I just heard I just heard stab it. I for some reason <laughs> in the dick took a second to like weasel its way into <laughs> my gray matter clip? and I was like I think I've sent it to you, the guy who who's in the crowd during like a local MMA fight, and the guy in the background is going, twist grab his dick, <laughs> grab his dick and twist it. The guy's like, dude, the old dick twist. <laughs> what is Belgia doing? The old dick twist. <laughs> um, I will cast Tasha's Mind Whip. I psychically lash out at one creature I see within range, makes an intelligent saving throw and a failed save. It's 3d6 psychic damage, and it can't take a reaction until the next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must ch choose whether it gets to move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of the three. If it makes a save, then it takes only half damage, and it doesn't. That's cocked. That is a natural two. That's, okay, that's supposed to be a beat of 14, so I'm assuming that fucking fails. By a lot. Okay, that, that's good. Technically, it rolled a zero. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. You sure can. Thank you. You're welcome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only ten. Not nearly as impressive as yours. Right? Isn't that like it's always the thing? You're like this sounds really cool, and then it's like oh, more. With a ten, how do you want to do this? Oh. <laughs> um, I can't remember exactly. Uh, he just narrows his eyes. This. No words. He just narrows his eyes and just, just thinks, stares just him to thinks death. Thinks fucking terrible thoughts about this thing <laughs> that he hurt him so bad. Literally, its head begins to like pulsate, and before you know it, blood starts coming out its nose, it's eyes, and ears <laughs> as it falls down to the ground, lifeless, no longer moving, not squirming. Breathe a little sigh of relief. I want to get busy cutting this thing's head off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you begin yeah, to do? Yeah, like immediately. <laughs> As you begin to do that, stop right there. And that's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> no, let's just keep please, going. Please, Halfway ah. sorry through this. Sorry. <laughs> back all right uh i forgot we need a wild magic surge before anything else 10, Ten. We're good okay we're in the clear Ooh, i've cleared my second one <laughs> so uh to recap you all in a hard full fight against this strange humanoid creature covered in blood as you stand over what you can only assume is the beast that you were. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of it. <laughs> the beast that you were contract, uh, taking the contract of. You hear a very clear, pronounced voice. Stop right there. Who goes there? Hello? Hmm. And out of the shadows, you see... Is it old man? Is it old man? See a man in about his... 
could be anywhere from mid 30s to possibly mid 40s human in appearance in appearance has not quite golden blonde hair more of like a dirty blonde can't quite make out his eyes from at this point just wearing a nondescript cloak the hood up standing not very far from you hands on his hips at his sides hmm and had, you are sir i had hoped to make it here faster we'll say thank you for cleaning up this mess but you all need to leave now and we will once we collect proof of our assignment being complete I cannot have that I need you all to leave just come back the way you came with <clears throat> your lives we're here with the permission of old Nan, who owns these lands. Do I look like old Nan to you? I don't care. I'm here to clean up a mess. As are we. Perhaps, uh, I mean, we uh, are not charity workers. We cannot do this for free. This is your only chance to walk away now. None of you should be here now. None of you even have a clue about where or what is going on. You have wandered into something that you should have not seen, and I do not have the time to clean up a bigger mess. Leave while you still can. Well, we shan't be leaving. <coughs> well. Excuse me. You took, so you took a beating. <clears throat> yeah. Choking on blood. <laughs> we won't be leaving without proof. Then you have made your decision, haven't you? We have no quarrel with you. With that, he moves his arms about. And where one man was sta standing, you now see three others all around him. It looks identical to the man in the black robes. It looks as though they are all moving at once in between each other. I need everyone to please roll initiative. Pick and fights, pick and fights. We didn't even do anything this time. <laughs> We just needed proof. This dude was just ready, man. He was ready. He's, he's he looking for a mate. This guy a was choice. This guy was just being a dick. We would have been gone already. Just let us take an ear or something. Just let us go. 20 and above. 21. 15 to 20. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, 10 to 15. 14. And for Luna? Nine. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Luna, you're so dead. <laughs> okay. So, as we begin our battle, the stranger stands in front of you, arms open. Passaro, Passaro you are up. 
So how does Hunter's Mark work if there's multiples of him? Do I just put it on who I think it is, or do I know there's like an actual... The multiples will only come into effect when you make an attack roll. I will let you mark them because you can see them, and I will let you mark them. So all of them have a Hunter's Mark. Or I just pick one and move uh, it, right? It, you won't need to. Uh, the way that this, this spell works... Uh, because you all have spells, this is mirror image, so there are all duplicates of him, but Hunter's Mark will be on the stranger. Okay, then I will bonus action, bonus thingy, Hunter's Mark, and I am going to, um, I'm going to, um, fly up again because that seemed like a working strategy I'm gonna do a good 20 feet all you heard was chest I flew up 20 feet <laughs> and uh I'm gonna shoot him um do I wanna sh quick question to the group are we are we like murder hobos do we want to solve things peacefully or do we like are we just go around and fucking fuck shit up like so that's gonna inform like if we just like non-discriminately kill people that i'll just fucking bow them but in not this scenario... i was gonna say the pro the thing is is that like i was <clears throat> didn't think we were because i'm kind of mentally going by this rules we usually do in our main games where it's like Hey, let's try to solve this. Oh, oops, okay, here comes some combat. But in this, it just seems like, Hi! I'm gonna try to kill you. <laughs> and then, then we have to fight. Like, I don't... It doesn't feel like this is a... There there are scene. things happening in Devenia that you don't know about. You do no. not know what you have so walked maybe into. maybe we're best being murder hobos this time around? I guess. I mean, I think I'm that's going our only option anyways. at this point. Okay. Might as well go down swinging. Because yeah. I was gonna throw, like, a dagger at his feet and be like... Halt, but now I'm just, yeah, fuck it. Just. That's what got me last it. time was I tried that web shot because I was like, well, let's restrain this mm -hmm. weird guy. 17. Like, 17? Like, I so, started off the first round uh, playing let me nice. Just double <laughs> check one thing. Just have to double check. Uh, I believe I have to roll above a six. But you know what I mean? Like, that first round when we did, like, reactions and stuff, we were trying to play a little bit nice because we were, like, didn't know what was up with that guy. Right. <clears throat> Are you connected to the yes. tavern one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'll automatically connect to the house mm -hmm. instead. And in the house, it'll connect here when I'm trying to, like, cast a movie to the TV. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn you! Alright, so... Yes, when I have the three duplicates, if I roll a six or higher. Are they right in front of us? Like, are they right by his side? or are They They ever? are all four, do, all four beings seem to be moving all about each other. You can't tell if they are crossing through each other or what. Um, so, I'm sorry, I should have rolled that before, and then you hit a uh, 17. 17. <laughs> one of the duplicates is hit by your arrow and disappears. There are now three figures, two duplicates and the true being. Bah! Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm still holding my bow with my free hand. I'm going to take out a dagger and like fling it at one of them. Just for some fucking flair. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a good spin. <laughs> mm -hmm. 22. 22. Yes. Another duplicate has just disappeared. There are now one being and one duplicate that you still can't tell the difference between them. 50 50 odds. Next up is the stranger. No. Damn it. I have three daggers instead of four now. <laughs> Moving forward, they are going to go right, actually right to here, and going to look right towards you, Belgia. And remember how I had you all roll earlier? Mm-hmm. 
Unfortunately, I had made a decision in my mind whoever looked the worst. They are just going to look at you. Not one up high. Keep them away from me. Is that a suggestion? You are charmed. You view this stranger as a <clears throat> as friend, a friend and close ally. Okay. It is now. If I was Isla, I'd have something Belgiers. to counter this. <laughs> Belgiers. Hold on, give me one second. Sure. I, just, I didn't know if there was anything I can do. About um. So that I will give you this. You rolled a one, oh. and it is a okay. wisdom saving throw. Okay. So even yeah, no um, I didn't know if I as like if I had anything wizardy that I could do, but I don't think I can anyways. I will also there's say no, be, like reaction because you maintained bless, but I still don't think that even with bless it would be enough to beat uh, the DC. Oh, are we? St- I didn't know. No, my wisdom bless. is a plus zero anyways. So I okay. Have to... um, we'll say bless will be up for this round. And the next, uh, we'll count that as the sure. minute because we only got through about three rounds, and then sure. there was less okay. than a minute of talking. Okay, so I have to do what I can about him. Yes, you don't have to do exactly what he says, but you consider him a close friend and ally, and heed his suggestion of keeping him away. Actually, do hey, at that kind guy. of range. Want some seeds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will <clears throat> use sacred flame. I guess. Jesus Christ! You're taking it to heart. What else am I fucking supposed to do? It's it's, it's talk to me. Armed. I'm your friend. He's my friend now. <laughs> I have a new best I am friend. His closest friend. <laughs> Uh, um, so I believe that is a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, you gotta make a dex save. Of... 14. Joke's on you. I'm good at that shit. It's a 18. 18, awesome. I believe there's no... Um, I don't think he'd take... Yes, yeah, uh... Nope, he doesn't take anything if he succeeds. All right. But but then also you have no benefit from cover from the saving throw. So that's my highest saving dex. So, <laughs> so uh, you can now um, bonus action or movement. Um. Well, I mean, if his mission new mission is now to hit him, I mean, why would he move farther away? He's just going to stay right there, and I don't really have anything else I can do as a bonus action. Okay, Luna, it is your turn. Fantastic. Okay. All right. I was going to come back and bite me, but I'm going to do it. All right. Um. So you're pointing at her, though. Like From my point oh, of view, you're like, you're no look, your character looks like, You bitch! <laughs> and I'm going to do this. Go back. I'm going to at second level I'm going to cast Tasha's Caustic Brew but I'm going to twin right. spell it for the other one as well if it's in range so I can see it um, so the way the duplicate works is so you want to use twin spell to go after both the normal and the duplicate is Tasha's Caustic Brew and Attack Roll. Or is it a saving throw? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Attack save, Dex is six, 16, so... Um, so it would be a saving throw. I am pretty sure that Mirror Image is only affected on attack rolls. Just let me double check. Yes. Uh, so uh, it is. Uh, if it's a saving throw, you don't have to worry about the duplicate. 
Uh, so you're going to uh, target them. What is the uh, spell save? Uh, spell save? Sorry, I'm brand new to all this, guys. That's okay. Take your time. Spell save. So at the uh, spell itself, at the top, it'll say Dex 16. Dex 16. Okay, so I have to beat a 16. Come on, we'll beat a 16. That is a natural 15. Okay. Plus 10 for 25. And I won't even have you roll damage because this creature has evasion, meaning if it makes a dexterity saving throw, where it would normally take half damage, it takes no damage. So that was kind of a waste. And I need you to roll me a d20, please. I'm gonna pay for this. Natural 20. Okay. Don't pay for it. I'm still good. Moving back to the top of the round. Let's go, bird boy. Uh, see, my friend's trying to Hit me. Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 30, 30, 40, 45, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Fly away! <Wakao! laughs> it's a new bird noise every time. I love it. Chick, 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 <laughs> like every time, every time you move, Mary I'm like waiting for a new one. I don't know what because sound like. Uh, uh, all right, um, I am once again going to target um, the stranger. My dude. Uh, you said we were blessed still. Uh, this is the last round for bless. The last round for bless. Unless Belgir decided to drop concentration. That spun, it was about to land on the 20, and then went, oh. no. <laughs> All right, so, uh, 27. 27 hits. Nice. And you hit the actual stranger, oh, the shit. duplicate. Nice. It moves out of the way. Eight points of piercing damage. Eight? Um, Did you add the uh, thought? Yeah, I only rolled a two oh. on my... Uh, and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> take another shot. Is this uh, from your plus one bow? Yeah, it is. Okay. And uh, as I take this next shot, I go, Yield, stranger! Ooh. Um, let's see. Twenty-one. That hits. You hit the stranger twice. Two quick knocked arrows from the air. That's better. Sixteen. Nice. Using right. damage that time. Nice. See the stranger has the arrows sticking in its chest there, within two inches apart. Hasn't even acknowledged you nearby. Moving on, Stranger just simply stands there, closes his eye for a moment, Where's he going with it? Like, this was only too many rolls for me. <laughs> okay. It is Belgia. Oh. So I'm f f charm. Now, when it comes you to that... You don't have to do everything he says, but you take what he says in the most favorable way. But I still... It's not like my memories of what just happened are like... What? Nope, you just now see so now I have, this he, person is a close, dear, trusted friend. Um, he's going to drop his, not drop, but like lower his shield and his sword and look and just say, 
We don't, we don't have to fight. We don't have to fight. We'll, we'll, we'll leave. So you're going to attempt to plead for your friends' lives. I'll try. I'm going to have you make a persuasion check. I mean, my fucking charisma's shit, so. <clears throat> uh, no, that was a three plus a no, I actually have you have, used your thing? I have not used my thing. I forgot we have the thing. I'll cash that in. Let's see. So let's try something a little bit better. That's an 18 plus 3. Nice. Okay. 21. I got a negative I, I do. One I don't know charisma. what it, Here's the thing is that I have no idea what that plus 3 is actually from. <laughs> because that's... Because I shouldn't. Because I'm, I'm a wizard, so it should be intelligence. And I'm a fighter. I don't know how this works. Do you have so, proficiency in it, maybe? I have proficiency, but I don't know why. You know, like when you build a character mm -hmm. and you know where the proficiencies come from. This was all slapped together, so I'm not sure where the skill mm. proficiencies come from. Let's see. Your chance is gone. Bonus action or movement? Uh, no, I don't have another potion to take, and... Uh... I don't know. I suppose. I guess I still see this guy as a friend. So why, why would I move away? All right. Next up is Luna. Man, even with a fucking twenty-one. Only hundred and fifty feet. He <clears throat> gave us a chance. All right. I'm just gonna fucking do it. I'm going to cast Fireball at level three. Fireball. Fireball at oh, level fuck. three. And where? Where is it? Where is it going? <laughs> Right for him. Alright, now. Ooh, she's I doing point blank range. Not centered <laughs> on him, though, because that would get us all. I just yeah, no. want, want to warn you. I, I'm, 20, I, like, I'm 20 feet above you. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're 20 feet up. This is a 20 foot sphere. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's a 20 foot radius sphere. So I'm going to try to do it like over this way if I can exclude my friends. <laughs> so to not get your friends. I'm trying not to nail my friends. So I'm just trying to get this side Did of Did you get the dead, dead body of the thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Bring back a crispy fucking... Like, could I like just let like half of its body and leave its head out so that way it would cut its head off and I could bring it back? Nice. Can I do that? Um, we will say, um, grab it and run. I love it. Absolutely. All right. The, the so head stays grab the out. head. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll grab the head. Spell save. Deck 16. Is that 16? Are you fucking kidding me? No. I'll let you look at it. Do you want to give yes. the creature disadvantage? Yes, I do. Fuck. What was it? A D uh, was it a nat 20? Natural 18. Oh. Fucking cunt. Was it worth it? <laughs> An eight? Fuck yeah, that was worth it. All right. So that means... This creature is going to use its legendary resistance to automatically pass. Fuck you! He's, he's like the fucking, um... What's the dude? That, that almost seems unfair. He's got an elf you just, you just, No, he just lured you into... He just baited you into using that. You son Knowing of a bitch. Knowing he was going to do that. I was you, fucked up. How do you know it was legendary action? He's the Night King, dude. Because you made it. The dragon blows fucked. all the flame and he just sits there and smiles. That was fucked up. That was... That was diabolical, No fun dude. for you later, Mr. DM. That was diabolical. Okay. You knew you were going to do that. You lured her into burning that. That um, is funny. Bonus action. <laughs> I don't have to ask this question again because I already know. Um, can we trust this one? I only have one bonus action. You can also convert to gain back spell slots. Oh, wait, these sorcery, sorcery points? Sorcery points. Yes, it's, uh, I believe, one for first level. Yes. One for... Yeah, I should say, like, if you click says, on it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, I got nothing. 
I'll let you. I'll let you uh, decide on that. As uh, are you going to move? No. All right. Fuck. You're not going to move. No, I'm so pissed at that door. <laughs> at the end of your turn. Legendary actions, and it moves swiftly and quickly. And before you can even blink, it is standing right next to you. You should have taken my offer. We're at the top of the round. The sorrow. I am going to fly. Over here. Pick up the head in my talons. <laughs> uh, and I think the only movement I can do is go back up. So that was... Uh, so you were 20, 20 feet 20, in the air. Five. No. So, so I got another 25 feet of movement. Uh, no, because when no. you go diagonal, you were 20 feet in the air. And how far horizontal were you? Uh, I just went tw- 25. 25 horizontal, 25, and you were 20 feet in the air, so A squared plus B squared. <laughs> so much math. So you went, uh, I'll, I'll call it 30 feet just for quick math, so you have 20 feet remaining. All right, so I flew over, Pacha. and then you're the going head. to and shoot up, go back up. 20 feet? Yes, that seems to be my my happy zone. <coughs> All right. Um, any action? Uh, your action was to grab the head. Uh, bonus action? Uh, run, my friends! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it is the stranger's turn. He's going to look towards... say goodbye, Luna! <laughs> look towards Luna. And... Luna, you're you're looking at him. You saw it. he took arrows. He took just walked off a fireball. He looks unscathed, like nothing has happened to him at all. As you're standing so close to him, it's a fifteen. Excuse me, a sixteen to hit. Oh yeah, that hits. Uh, instead of dealing damage, this person is just going to grab a hold of you. What'd that mouth do? Jesus. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. it's a 16 to hit. Mm-hmm. So that will be seven points of piercing damage. Oh, wait, there's more. What did he pierce you with? His oh. teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just, we had to check. Nine. And you take nine necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is reduced by nine. He's a vampire. Six. I know so you I already figured that part out, apparently. Points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to be one of three. How do I do that? How do I reduce I my knew. hit points? Um, so you're going to go to uh, override uh, hit point. <laughs> Run it is a vampire. It's right here. Yep. And so just minus, um, what did I say? How many was that? Nine points. So nine from 56 will make it 47. So just put 47 in there. Thank you. Right. Should show that your yep. total is 47. And he will also, he still gets one more. Uh, that's all his attack and no bonus action it is belgia is she technically like restrained or grappled or she is considered grappled you can break a grapple through an action or uh the other person can attempt to break the grapple for the person um heeding the words of his good friend pissarro he's going to Move 30 feet that way. Right here. So, starting to run away. Right? Mm-hmm. Roughly. And seeing, looking over his shoulder, seeing Luna grappled, and I think this is a spell that you were thinking of. 
um, being grappled, he's going to cast Vortex Warp. Okay. Um, I twist space around another creature I can see within range. That's 90 feet. Um, succeed, it has to succeed on a con save, or it can choose to fail. Um, if it fails, it is tele- uh, the creature's t- target is teleported to an unoccupied space of my choice, which would be, you know, next next to me. Within within range to a... Hmm, that's weird, weird. The target is tra- teleported to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. That's within the 90 feet then, right? Yes. So that's basically a 90 foot circle around me? Yes. 90 foot radius from where you are. Okay. So then I will vortex warp her out of his grapple and as many feet this way as I can. Oh, okay. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you would choose to fail. Oh, absolutely, yes. Get you out of there. Like, Thank so you. he's he's gonna look back. Uh, he'll sheathe his sword as like a free action and stick his hands out and just kind of like make this motion, like he's st- t- trying to turn space mm-hmm. itself. And like like it says, vortex warp. She'll almost like twist into like a like a black hole, and, like blip out of existence. Kind of like. Yep. She'll like twist and. Amazing. And then, appear um, somewhere way over here <laughs> some like <laughs> um, 50, if it's 90 if feet. it's 90 feet from me on basically all sides right just just remember she only has 30 feet of movement and you only have 30 feet of movement so you are way away from each yes. other if anything else goes bad yes he knows this is a self-sacrifice probably <laughs> um, I'll do like 40 feet this way awesome if uh, you can yeah. put Thank her you. basically where the camera is, we'll say just for just for now. Amazing. At the uh, bonus action, you used all of your movement, correct? I. Uh, yes, that was all my movement, and then, as a bonus action, are we in? What type of light are we in? We are in. I will consider it dim? dim light. He's gonna turn. And he's going to say, I do not want to fight you. And he'll uh, cast... Sh- oh, shit, I can't. Because that's a, that's also... Fuck. That's mm-hmm. another spell. Um, <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, then he's going to send a message. I can cast a cantrip, though, right? You can if it's a bonus action. Message is an action. Yeah, it's an action. Shit. No, then I guess that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck. At the end of your turn. Yep, and he'll run to me. Okay. You really shouldn't have done that. Hello there. Next up, we have Luna. You are almost 90 feet away. Mm-hmm. What is Luna going to do? I, uh, not 90 feet, but I said 40. Oh, sorry, 40, 40, feet. 40 feet away. I think 40 feet. Yeah, that looks about right. The range of, that I could send her was 90 feet, but the only reason I did 40 is because I don't know the range of her spells. If I sent her the full 90, she might not be able to... I am definitely within 120 feet of the asshole, correct? Absolutely. All right. to try to get like a side shot of him. So you have like a straight line? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. If I face it, it might help though. Um, <laughs> and we're going to do Rolla Thumb Psychic Lance again. All right. And I believe that is uh, Intelligence Saving Throw? Uh, Dex. Dex. <clears throat> oh, nope. I lied. Sorry. I hit the wrong one. Sorry. Intelligence, yes. All right. Fuck this. I'm rolling really good tonight, guys. You're rolling too good tonight. I'm sorry. Stop it. Like, uh, (laughs) you, if you want to hate on me, hate on my sister, because she got me these dice. (laughs) Kayla! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Bonus action? Or anything Mm. else you want to do? Do you want to convert some sorcery points? And you can regain up to fifth levels, I believe... Um, for sorcerers, I believe it's uh, one for first level, 
and then three for second, five for third. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice for him to get a fourth level back. All right, let's That's just let four of them. that out real quick. Where are they? It would cost me six for a fourth level. Uh, yes, six for a fourth level and seven for a fifth. So I believe you still have all, um, all of them. Yes, so I'm down to three. So I can get one spot back. <laughs> Uh, all set? Yeah, I got nothing else. At the end of your turn, he is uh, uh, going to attempt... Uh, actually, no. Oh, did I have to do for wild magic? Uh, yes. D20 roll, please. Nope. Uh, 15. 15, you are still good. What is it that you have to hit in order to have the third? One. Why? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He's going to look at you, uh, Belgia. Hmm. <laughs> Come here. And you are charmed by them, so you become a willing person to take a bite. Oh boy. So you will take eight points, uh, excuse me, seven points of piercing damage. And another 10 points of necrotic, and your hit point maximum is reduced. And you, could please make a wisdom saving throw for me. Wisdom saving throw. Just a straight wisdom save? Wisdom saving throw. Oh, plus zero. 17. That's what you are looking to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was a oh, nat 20. Shit. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I mean, Whoa. on the nat 30 die, but that was a nat After 20. After being bitten on the neck by this stranger, nice. <laughs> it snaps you out of it. Oh my god, my friend. Oh my god, what is happening right now? It is now back to the top of the round. Masaro. Here we go. I'm going to, with the head in my talons, crispy, <laughs> crispy head. <laughs> So you are 20 feet in the air? Yes. And I'm using my full flying movement. Full 50 feet. Full 50 feet. Horizontal, straight out. And, and I have to remember, I always talking about this. Uh, and I'm going to cast, I have to drop Hunter's Mark, okay. and I'm going to cast Wind Wall. And it's mm. going to be. Right, right in between. Standing. Nice. Excellent. So, Excellent. And it is 50 feet long by 15 feet high by one foot thick. Uh, I can make it any shape I want. So I think I'm just going to make... Like a like cage? A, a little uh, I'm gonna make around? A, I'm going to make like a... Yeah. Like... Yeah. Um, however that math works, it is a cube of air... So he needs to make a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw. That is a natural 12 plus 5 for a 17. Okay, he makes it, but he takes half damage. Excellent. Bludgeoning damage from the wind and rocks and twigs getting in his fucking eye and shit. <laughs> uh, Charred wow. vampire body thing. Oh, two ones. All right, so uh, <laughs> eight, nine. So half a nine. Half of nine. So uh, rounded down, that's four points of bludgeoning damage. Yes. Um. Any uh, bonus action? <laughs> bonus actions with a character that has no bonus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. So I guess, um, yeah, essentially, I, I just try to make a wall of wind to kind of like, like it doesn't push him away, but like he takes the damage. It hopefully, kind of gives you a chance to. Does wind wall create a barrier of any kind, or is that against? 
range attack? F- like, if you were to go shoot arrows, that yeah, would be yes. range attack. Yeah. Um, but yes, a, uh, a creature uh, in the area when the spell is cast. Uh, let's see, 55. I'll choose uh, the strong wind. But no, it does not stop. Uh, let's see. I just flying wanted to use it. <laughs> smaller, smaller flying creatures cannot pass through it. Loose or lightweight materials brought into the wall fly upwards. Arrows and bolts and other ordinary are launched. Targets behind the wall. Uh, so no, it does not stop. Um, it does not stop them from moving. No, it's quasi useless, but it just sounded like a it's, cool spell. Yeah, it has. And that's why I cast it over here instead of me there. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Are you finished? Uh, was, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you're finished. All right. Um, at the end of your turn. Oh no, can't. Not yet. Uh, so at the beginning of. The stranger's turn. He's going to make an unarmed attack at Belgir. It's a natural 19 plus. Yeah, yeah, that hits. Um, stuff. Uh, no damage. Uh, they're going to uh, grapple you instead. And this one's a natural 11 plus 19 to hit. Uh, plus, plus nine, excuse me. Oh, I, I mean, plus Jesus. eight. <laughs> plus nine. See, why are you even rolling if it's plus 19? Just plus say it is. Plus eight uh, to make it a 19. Yes, that hits. That literally my, my AC. What? I said yes, it hits. Say the other thing. Oh, the... Oh, thank you. Silvery barbs. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I fucking... Dude, I forget. I... I yeah. Uh, that's a natural 12. He's so fucking waiting. So still, that still hits, right? Still hits. Yeah. I said that's so defeated. Silvery barbs. <laughs> um, so that is a... Let's see. For the piercing damage, that's uh, seven points of piercing. And we have uh, seven points of necrotic, and your hit point maximum is reduced by seven. And you are still grappled. Um, so mean. I'm hoping his like, <laughs> I'm hoping his like uh, coin purse is like just flew up through the wall <laughs> though, at least. It just so like I, came he, off his belt. Uh, he like, <laughs> doesn't seem to have any equipment with him. He is wearing a cloak. That is it. Well, wind up his skirt. Next up, we have. Uh, Belgia. I'm doing math. <laughs> yes. so hold on. Hold your glasses <coughs> one minute. Oh, damn it. I don't know how that. I'm at one hit point. <laughs> All right. Yes. You're at one yes, hit point. So there's fucking. Not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do. Um, this is the last thing he can do. Uh, he, as a bonus action, he'll cast Misty Step. Excellent. Out of the grapple, mm-hmm. 30 feet that away. All right. So, to use about- all your potions of healing i only had one. Oh, I, I, so. yeah because you took the the one greater correct yeah I, t- I dude i took so much damage that first round mm-hmm. i took 40 and it dropped my from 72 to 56 was you know what i mean was my hit point maximum um now my hit point maximum is 39 <laughs> uh that was a bonus action i believe correct bonus action and then i'll use my full 30 Full dash. Yeah. To move uh, another 30, I believe that is, right? Yep. Uh, so you have 30 so, foot move. So I'm 60 feet away. Okay, excellent. Um, now i got to try to figure out how to fucking... The end of your turn. His gaze turns towards you, Luna. Somebody could measure is Luna... How close is Luna? Ah, oh, fuck. 40 feet, maybe. Just under 
So he is going to move 30 feet. Full movement. Just on the end of the puddle. All right, and he has to make a dexterity saving throw because no one else ran through these. And that is... He sinks into it and dies. It it was just a a DC 10 dexterity to make sure you don't trip. Um, It is now Luna's turn. All right. Oh, I actually didn't need to use a slot for that. Sorry. (laughs) I have it as a part of... Yeah. I forgot I didn't. So... Sorry, I felt a burp coming. I didn't want to just like belt really right out. Set up for this character. I just at I level four, I'm going to cast vitriolic sphere. Okay, excellent. And I believe that is that a attack roll or a saving throw. <laughs> so it'll say de- uh, yeah. where it says attack or mm-hmm. save, uh, where it says deck sixteen. Mm-hmm. So this is a dexterity saving throw. So if they make it, they take no damage. But also, hold on. Learning this shit. I have mm-hmm. Ben Luck. Okay. So, so I, if you make an attack roll with an ability check or saving throw, I can use my reaction to send yes. two source reports to roll 1d4 and apply the number rolled penalty of your choice. Okay, so yes. I'm, I'm going to do that. But let me, let me just remind you, he has legendary resistances, and if he were to choose, because he has evasion, when that makes it zero damage. I just do it. Let's just try it. Okay. I'm like, fuck. What is the save? 16. That is a natural 5 plus 10 for a 15. He's going to use his second legendary resistance to pass. <laughs> I'm just going to throw my biggest <laughs> dice at you. <laughs> Takes no damage. Fuck! Any uh, bonus actions for you? I'm not close enough to anybody to touch him, but hold on a second. Anybody within 30 feet of me? I think. I think. You might I be. think I, yeah. Because uh, you used dash, correct? Yeah, he's way um, off. He's like yeah, over there. So he's. Oh, I'm 60 feet away. Yeah, you are. You are far away. With my, right, so. with my one hit point. I'm going to hit like a branch, like running. <laughs> Dead. So we have, you're closest to me. I'm going to cast it on, how do we say your name again? Passero. Passero. We're going to cast Dragon's Breath at level three for uh, for him. And you're going to use a sorcery point to extend the range to 30 feet? Yes. So you now have the use, uh, one use of the Dragon's Breath spell. And at level three. At level three. So I believe that's an extra D6 at level yeah, three, so correct? Four D6 total. So you can do four D6 of any any uh, fire, uh, fire, fire uh, lightning. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, and poison. So you can do that on your turn, uh, your choice. Movement. You uh, gonna GTFO with uh, your buddy as well? Yep. We're gonna just skedaddle over that way. <laughs> All right. We time to skedaddle. Fucking trying. Trying. Um, end of your turn. Moving like the wind. They are following. They are 30 feet. Yeah, of course feet. they are. 30 feet movement heading right towards you. Back to the top of the round. Oh. Okay. I forgot. Five. I'm good. Still good. Asaro. Uh, you just saw this person just quickly move so fast you could barely see them following after your friends. What do you do? I will full use my full flight movement to catch up where my friends are. As I pass him, I will use the dragon's breath. All right. So we're going right into theater of the mind territory. Uh, we so run out of map. <laughs> this is this is no longer a battle. It is a chase. 
So you have now swooped over just like a, a dive bombing plane and just letting out that dragon's breath. Um, is that a saving throw, I believe? Yes. Dex, 16. That is cocked. Natural 18. Fuck. Does he take uh, half? I bl- um, he has evasion, half. so dexterity so saving throws. If he makes it, he takes no damage. Like a rogue. Uh, what I was going to do also as a bonus action was toss this guy my uh, greater potion of healing. Um, like, yeah, let's... Uh, dexterity uh, check, dexterity check. Let's see... If any spells. <laughs> oh yeah. Seventeen. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> uh, seven. <laughs> All right. Um, you were throwing him. Uh, what kind it of? It decks uh, me in the head the, and takes my last. The hit greater. Point. Yeah, the greater Just potion of healing. <laughs> okay. So one. between the two of you, uh, you have a partially spilled greater. Healing, so it's one less d4. So it's three d4, I think. Three d4 as opposed to the the normal four. Uh, still plus that four though. Um, yes, I'll, I'll still give you the plus four. It's still got the good bits, you know, those like stuff that sticks to the bottom that you get to kind of like the, chun- down the chunks. The, you, the chunks yeah. you got to work. That's so called yeah. the mother in um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, that trend, I said. I thought that said you said mutter. And I was like, <laughs> mutter's milk. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, action bonus and movement. Yep. Anything else for you? That's all I got. End of uh, your turn, the stranger. I'm gonna catch up to Luna. He was gonna kill me first. <laughs> going to attempt to uh, make an attack, an unarmed strike, natural seventeen plus yep. eight. Uh, no damage. They are now grappling you. So your movement is now zero until you can break the grapple. So you can't run away. Uh, next up is Belgia. Oh, man. So wait, so fuck. So how far away am I? You are probably about I'm like- 10. Because uh, you ran, let's see, 50... Excuse me, you missed the step 30 and then another 30 feet away. Luna was already about 20. So I would say you are between 10 and 20 feet from Luna right now. And by consequence, uh, this stranger, correct? Correct. And she is grappled and you are on death's door. Mm. There's so little I could do. Drink up, Bubba. Yeah, I mean, I guess I will take that potion as a bonus action, so Excellent. that'll be there. Um, and then I guess I'll cast uh, as a cantrip as my action, Vicious Mockery. Uh, it just has to pass a wisdom save of 14. Uh, uh, you always make me say like what the mockery is. <laughs> Let's go I come know. up with something. Like, keep uh, the rules the same. Hmm, what would I say? I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, this is a lot harder yeah, than Yeah, it think. is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least I'm not going to That's a fucking bring up a table generator. And it's usually shit. Uh, fuck. Um, I will say... Hands on a woman, would you, you coward? Something like that. I don't know, because no, she's grabbing walk. me. I don't know. What do you want me to do, you pussy? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Something that stings. Yeah, okay. I rolled a natural eight. It's okay. one of its saving throws for a total of 16. Okay, uh, it had to beat a 14. So it takes just... It takes no damage. Oh, because it... it's a cantrip. You just wipe us uh, out, aren't you? <laughs> All right. The disadvantage. Oh yeah, it doesn't take half, does it? I thought for some reason it did. Okay, well. And then <laughs> he'll move twenty feet more. All right. End of your turn. So I'm now thirty feet away. 
Luna, 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. So that will be nine points of piercing. And 12 points of necrotic, and your hit point maximum is reduced by 12. your turn, Luna. I have some stuff I gotta do first. Hold on. So, <laughs> 12 plus 9 is what? 20. 12 plus 9 is 21. Uh, yeah, we're... Oops. <laughs> it's close to being dead. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go out with a fucking bang. Um... At fifth level, I'm going to cast Summon Draconic Spirit. All right. Let's do this. Fuck. Let me hit the fucking slot. Thank you. And that's what she said. All right. <laughs> that's what she said. All right. I call for the Dra Draconic Spirit. I'm going to pick Metallic Okay. as the family. I haven't looked up the stuff yet, so hold on. So let me know, does it roll initiative, or does it go immediately after your turn? And it shares my initiative count. Okay, it takes so... its turn after yours. All right, so uh, as soon as your turn is done, you tell me what the dragon is doing. All right, so the draconic multi -attack spirit. makes mm -hmm. a number of rend attacks equal to half the spell's level rounded down, uses breath weapon, melee attack spell, attack modifier hit, reach 10 foot to... 1d6 plus Florida spell learning breath is 30 foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw against your spells DC. The creature takes 2d6 damage of this type. Dragon has resistance to your choice. So so because they are grappled, I will say, because we're doing theater of their minds, so it's kind of hard to see. I would recommend one of the physical attacks because anything mm -hmm. in the cone, including your friends yeah. or yourself... We're going to do the physical attack because I don't want to kill my friends. Even all we're right. All, all close to being dead anyway. Let's do it. All right, and that is if what? your draconic spirit could literally sneeze and from like 50 feet away, it would kill me. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm like literally a, like a tiny little just yeah. snot bubble of fire would kill you at this point. Yeah. All right, so. How much of the potion? Oh, I is. forgot to roll the fucking potion. Your attack three. modifier to hit. Oh, that's that's not good. To all ones. Never summoned a dragon two, before. Two of them were ones. Well, plus nine. There should be like a, a little thing to see. Yeah, so its strength is plus four. Um, does it say it's proficiency? Mm. Or does it use yours? It does not say. So let's. Uh, so your proficiency is plus four, correct? Yes. Proficiency is plus four. So let's give it your proficiency. Okay. So uh, plus the strength, which is also four. Mm -hmm. So it's a plus eight to hit. So you're gonna roll the d20, add eight to it. Whoa. Fourteen plus eight. Ah, uh, that hits. Nice. So then that is... 2d6, I believe. So it'll be 2d6 plus 4. Because of your strength modifier. Get it. 10, 14. Ooh. Love it. It's like the number of the night. How many times yeah. has 14 been rolled? It's really... For seriously, though. Or somebody, somebody play a lotto tomorrow. Out of tomorrow fourteen. The first two hands, you both had uh, fourteen for your cards. And uh, how many attacks does it get? Powerball. Fourteen. Fourteen. Right. Fourteen. One. Imagine one. if that was the number. Oh it, yeah, I think it's just one. Just the one. Multi attack. Dragon makes a number of. We win Powerball. This is a full time level, job. Round, round Even if down. we fail. Even if we <laughs> lose money. No, I can take two. I can take two. So two D6 again. Plus four, right? Uh, plus eight. Plus eight. So we have six plus eight. Six uh, plus I'm going to do math. Is 14. Thank you. That does not hit. 
and it is your choice if you you are also allowed to use the breath weapon but again you are grappled so if you do choose we are going to have to do a luck roll to see if you are also in the cone or if you are just outside of it so it's really just me that would get hit with it but i'd be hitting him Oh, no, I'm like no he, okay. he's uh, yeah, far enough away. It. You want to go for yeah, it? Yeah, go it. Okay. Leroy Can I first have a d20 roll from you for your wild magic surge? 14. Right. So here's what we're going to do. Evens or odds? Odds. If I roll an odd number, you have the favorable outcome. If I roll an even number... You have the favorable outcome. You are also in the cone of fire. And I'm probably dead, but let's try it. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> like, fucking damn it. So, roll the damage. What is it, 2d6 again? Uh, no, the uh, breath. Uh, oh, it? fuck yeah. God, that's worse. Four. All right, so you take four points of damage. I'm not dead yet, so that's Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> not Pretty yet. Pretty close. <laughs> Are you finished? Yeah, that's all I got. All right. Just before, at the top of the round, as you are running away, Belgir, you are, before you know it, cut off by a pack of wolves. Ooh, Nine of them of have now begun to surround all of you. They are 20 feet in front of you. Enjoy. Well, shit. Just, just so you know, that was the, after the first round, he charmed. And then he, a round where he spent doing nothing, he just closed his eyes. He was calling in reinforcements. Oh, fun. Damn it, I'm the one that kills animals. <laughs> Damn it! I don't like this! Okay. I'm going to... Hunter's Mark, the closest wolf, and I'm just going to... Do you still have Hunter's Mark up, or did uh, you drop no, I'm, it? I have to drop Wind Wall. That's oh, Wind Wall is concentration. Yeah, just that I wasted. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just over there doing its thing. It's like you know when you're walking through a parking lot and you see like little like little Wind Devils, yeah, the leaves and shit. Little Wind Devils. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna Hunter's Mark a wolf. I'm gonna shoot at two separate wolves, and I'm going to try to like clear a path for my uh, non-avian friends. My okay. so, like, non-avian love friends. Two wolves in front. I'm just gonna be like pa-doo, pa-doo. Uh, I love it. Alright. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, so let's go uh, Let's go the uh, Hunter's so, Mark yeah. one first. I only got Mark one thing one. left to do. Uh, what is it? Do you have a way to get out? That's just, doesn't add to the roll, I right? It's just, uh, uh, no, just to yeah. the damage. Okay. Possibly. Because it's so tough because like I'm like uh twenty five mm -hmm. bad hit getting out of there. Do you want me to roll damage or do you want to uh, uh, yeah, well, let's just uh let's legit. see if you can clear one of them out and then we'll see if you can yeah. clear out the other one. Like the only one's gonna be okay is Birdman. Yeah. Um and that's only because you can fly. Exactly. <laughs> Everything I have left is basically gonna kill us uh, yeah. if it goes wrong. So, but if it goes right, which is, no, it's not. But piercing he's damage. Diabolical. Just Excellent. That first wolf goes yeah. down. Second wolf, the one that you have marked. Um, I can't move Mark, Hunter's mark. Right, like it was. It's, it's a, a bonus, bonus action. It's a bonus action. Uh, but it's but a, bonus a bonus action, action to, cast to cast it. So. Yeah. Oh. All right. So this one's unmarked. Uh, four. Yeah, it's same. Hot bit hits. Like, yep. There, and then this one is just the D8. Four, nine piercing. 
Nine piercing. Uh, it is not looking good, but it is still baring its teeth, growling, trying to prevent Belgier from being able to leave. And I use my movement. I guess I fly over them. All right. And I just tell my, keep running, keep running. Um. So he will look at you, Luna. It's a nice little trick you have there. When you say you use it, can I get a wisdom saving throw from you, please? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. I rolled a one, and I have a plus one, so we're at a dose. You are now charmed. Why don't you use your winged friend to stop your other winged friend? And he will let go of Luna, and he will use his full movement to get to Belgia. Okay. How far away am I from them? Uh, we said you were about 20 feet. Um, he's just getting towards you. He can only go 30. Uh, he was 20 feet, and then you moved your full movement, so there was a 50-foot gap, so now he's 20 feet away okay. from you again. Gotcha. Um, and it is now Belgia's turn. You have wolves 20 feet in front of you, a stranger 20 feet behind you and you should have your winged friend pretty close up above you. Jump over the, the wolf carcass. Um, I will cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Um, allows me to move at an incredible pace. When I cast a spell, then as a bonus action on each of my turns until it ends, I can take the dash action. As a bonus action. Yeah. So I cast a spell as a, as a bonus action, so I'm going to dash. Take, take the the dash as a bonus action. As a bonus action. And then uh, what are you uh, doing as, as an No, action? hold on, I can't because that doesn't work. I have to cast it as a bonus action. But, you can still but use it says when I cast a spell. Yes, you okay, can. Yes. You can still use. Sorry, it. I got a little tricked up there. So, and as I run by, I will um, try. I, I mean, if any of those wolves get near me, are they going to come at me? Uh, if you like, I'm trying to get through the part in the wolves. So there are nine wolves. Probably, I will say they are. There's ten feet in between each of them. There is one wolf that he had taken down. So there is enough of an yeah. area for you to get by without an opportunity attack. If you so choose to just dash, that will give you a bonus action and then your actual action plus your movement where you could go a full 90 feet, leaving everyone else behind. Just remember, I got the head. <laughs> <laughs> you can get away with your life, but you won't get the money. Fuck. Let's go. Go. Just run. Keep running. So Find I've help, already Messi. moved six. I've already moved thirty feet from where he's coming after me. Yes, that was just your move. So I'm fifty feet away now. That was my bonus action. Ah, uh, yes, uh, your bonus. So I'm fifty feet. So you still have your thirty feet of movement, and then an action as well. Yeah, I guess I'll continue with my movement I, um, through the gap, if okay. I can. So now you are uh, about 80 feet from the stranger, and probably a good 40 feet from your friend. I don't like this. I don't like it. You know what? Can I take that movement back? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I did the dash, so I'm 30 feet away, and, and um, I'm going to, oh no, I can't because that's another spell. Fuck me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, like, perplexed. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanted. You're supposed to be panicked right now. I'm not panicked. I'm just, like, <laughs> confused. Mission accomplished over here. Um... 
Yeah, I guess he'll just run. Fuck it. I'll just... All right, it's full movement and dash yeah, as an sure. action. So you've see, gone... see you guys. Sorry, you're fucking toast, and and you're behind me flying. So you're probably oh. you're about a hundred and ten feet away now sure. from the stranger. The stranger is going to use uh, at the end of your turn. His he's going to move thirty feet towards you. You are still yeah, way I'm far like ninety feet ahead away. Of them. Uh, Luna, you are up. <laughs> the stranger asked you, you. The stranger is a close and dear, true friend. Like you love this person. Like, like you love. They're, they're amazing. They they are like your closest friend. And they just asked you, hey, can you use your draconic spirit to stop them from flying away? Didn't ask you to kill them. Didn't even ask you to hurt them, but said stop them from flying away. And now you are not under their control, but you want to take their words in the most favorable way possible. That is the... So could I technically just have the draconic spirit just kind of... Fly stop them. You could stop have. Them from flying, you could also have them, hurt them grapple. You can't go forward. You can have them grapple them. So we could do so like a that, dragon hug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dragon so, so I'm gonna basically have it just like the dragon just hug. And Sorrow. They'll probably end up on the ground. And just kind of sit down and hug you, so you can't fly. But we're not hurting you. The fall will hurt me. <laughs> well, the, the dragon, well, the dragon the will fall the, and the wings land. Still. The dra- land on its back so you don't get hurt. All right. Um, yes. Um, all right. So the draconic spirit goes after your turn. Correct? Yes. All right. So what we're going to do is end of your turn. Um, Dragon's going to go hug. Uh, before that, the the vampire is going after Belgir. So he's gone another 30 feet mm-hmm. closer towards Belgir. Now, at the end of your turn, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this a grapple, a contested grapple check. You can either use your athletics or acrobatics versus the dragon's athletics. So when you look up, you're going to use their strength. Yep. And then does it say if they have any skills? I don't see any skills. So you're going to add four. So contested D20 rolls between you two, and you're going to add plus four to whatever you roll, and you, it's either... Now's the time to roll a one. Nat 20 plus a four. God damn. Nat 20. You can use your thing. Yeah, I already did. No, 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 to... Deduct from oh, his. Yes, with I can bend luck. So I'm gonna roll on a nat twenty. We both got twenty four. Because remember, it's not attack rolls; oh, these are right. skill checks. That's right. So I can roll a d. Dueling nat twenties, guys. I mean, <laughs> come on. Four and you take. So he minuses how much? Two. So plus subtract 20. two plus four. So you're at twenty two versus twenty four. You lost the grapple. That I mean, honestly, guys, that. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty cool. The, and that the, was my last two sorcery points. Very nice. <laughs> Why? So it was just a little. <laughs> so you are no longer on the move. You are now being grappled by a draconic spirit. Um, we are at the top of the round. You are currently being grappled now by this metallic draconic spirit and two of the wolves have started to get closer to you now so we're on the ground now um i will say the dragon is holding you in place um the dragon needed to use all its movement to get to you so the you are hovering so you can attempt to break the grapple as your action or if you have a spell or ability to get out. I will try to break the grapple. All right, same thing again. D20 rolls. Um, 
this will be Do I still have the bad your uh, D20 plus, plus a four, just a one-time thing. D20 plus four, and you can use either your athletics or acrobatics. Oh, fuck. 13. Uh, plus four, in, 17. I'm going to inspire myself. All right, uh, yes. How, how are you inspiring yourself? You're, you're going to pump yourself up. <laughs> you're I'm be a like, natural flyer. I'm a natural one flyer. One of those like cockatiels, like you're getting yourself like all worked up. Uh, when they even see the videos, when they listen to the rock music and these yes. like, fucking headbangers, <laughs> and the fucking thing says, "This dragon's real. not real. <laughs> I'm real. I have the ability to fly." What was that? Uh, Seventeen. Oh my goodness. You both rolled 17s, just like last time you both rolled <laughs> So, um... <clears throat> see, here's the thing. It meets it, beats it? Meets it, beats it, but how to interpret which side, because if, if you are attempting to grapple someone that person gets the meets it, beats it. He is attempting to break, which means the resistance is on the other side, which means the dragon meets it, beats it. The dragon is not trying to hurt me. No, no, no they, he is just trying to hold on to you and keep you from flying away. But I am clawing my way out for dear life. So. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I have I have no, the, I gonna roll, have gonna roll the again? head in one in one I talent. I just happen. Like, ink, ink, ink. I just need something. I just happen to have a deck of cards. <laughs> to have a deck of cards. All right. No looking, either one of you, because you are the one attempting to escape. Pick one. Hold it down. Believe, now, believe, do not look at it. Believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> I want both of you on the counter three to flip it. And let's do it. Let me uh, set this up so that it's nice and close. Let's move this tree out of the way. Fuck you, tree. Right here in the center of that circle on three. Just rem rem it, try and keep your card on towards you and your card towards you. One, <laughs> one, two, three. If you have broken. <gasps> I was so hoping I picked low. Nice. I was like, come on, let me get something like a two. So when you Please. be like, it's time to do 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 do. <laughs> God damn. Ooh, that, was, right. that, was, that was good. So that, that was, was your action. You uh, still have a bonus action like and uh, full <laughs> movement. <laughs> fucking awful. Um, I'm gonna. If I'm still in the air, I'm going to use my full movement to. Fucking, fucking zero. go another fifty feet. All right, so yeah, you are you are basically almost caught up to Belgia. Um, should be should be pretty much caught up. Yeah, he's, I'm like a hundred and something feet away, though, aren't I? But uh, he had fifty foot of movement oh, when you, when you originally started. He was a little before you, so okay. he is almost caught up to you. Um, and the end of. Your turn. I know we're kind of leaving you. Uh, out of, it's, it's all like, good. She is with her. She is helping her dear friend, um, her dear close friend. But one of us has to make it out with his head, otherwise this fight was not worth it. Uh, yeah. So uh, this uh, this will be the last round of combat. Uh, yeah. Uh, for the last uh, moment, he sees that you are both pretty much gone he's going to stop chasing fine run away hmm. now what to do with you
I'll have to take you to see the queen. Come with me. So, two of you escaped with your lives, escaped with your trophy, leaving behind Luna to who knows what fate. Sorry, Luna. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for oh, coming oh, to our story tonight. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. We're going to leave you guys post script that at a tavern. With little head uh, cliffhanger. Yeah. One more go, I was going to be like, am I close enough to him to go cast fly? And go, <laughs> go. Just leave me. All right, let's save Get it for it. the stars and wishes. Good night, everyone. Good Thank night. you. Like, su uh, subscribe, share. Thank you.